In this video, we're going to talk about if statements and if else statements and if else if statements. These are the controls you use to let your program make decisions. You know, depending on maybe some information it got from the user, it may want to do one thing or another thing. And so the basic way you branch, that's what it's called, is a branch is using what's called an if statement. So let me just show you a quick example. So I'm going to create a variable of type x and I'm going to give it the initial value of 10. And I'm going to do an if statement. And I'm going to go ahead and run that. And as you can see, it did print out x is greater than 5. So what happened here? Let's walk through it. We created a variable named x with the initial value of 10. That's the first thing the program does. Then next, it comes to this if statement. And what this if statement tells the program to do is check the value of x and say if the value of x is greater than 5, then do whatever comes after the if statement. Now, in this case, what comes after the if statement is what's called a block of code. And the block of code is created by uh, starting a curly brace and ending a curly brace. You'll notice that this method we're in, main, is also a block of code. It has a starting curly brace and then a matching curly brace right there. And NetBeans is actually really nice, and if you just put your cursor on the curly brace, it will highlight the matching curly brace. So what this if statement says is if x is greater than 5, then do whatever is in between these two curly braces. So I could put some more print lines in here. And all three of these are going to be printed out when I run the program. So that is a very basic if statement. Now, one thing you should learn before you get too much further is that it is possible to omit those curly braces. But when you do that, what the program is going to do is run the next statement after the if statement. So in this case, I'll go ahead and delete that line so it doesn't confuse you. Make these a little bit more obvious. In this case, the block of code that is going to be run if the if statement is true is just this one line. So if we go ahead and run it, so what happened when we ran it is we see first line and second line printed out here. But why is that? That's because this line was printed out because the if statement was true. And this line, the second line, will be printed out no matter what. So if we change the if statement to where it's not true and make x 0 and run it, what are we going to see? Just the second line. So there you go. Second line, just this. Now remember, indentation doesn't matter at all. So this would normally be indented to where this is just lined up with the if statement because it's always going to happen, just like the if statement. But a lot of times you'll see code like this where if you just have one line after your if statement, uh, it's 
put on the same line as the actual if. So run that, and it doesn't matter, you know, it doesn't matter how you actually indent or format the code. If you don't have curly braces after an if statement, it's going to run everything up to the next semicolon. So there you go. Watch out for that. A really common bug is if you have some code like this, and you're editing stuff really quickly, you might just put something in right here, thinking that will only happen if the if statement is true. But it actually is going to happen every single time. I spent many hours debugging a bug like that. I introduced it into a program in college once, so don't make my mistake. I think it's always a good idea to put these curly braces. That way it's really obvious what's going on.